Flano, a bit of a gutting result that one. How are you feeling after the game? Um, obviously disappointed. Uh, I think um, we kind of we let ourselves down in the first half, and ultimately that that killed us really because we pushed and we should have won the game in the second half. We don't don't put our chances away and then concede a penalty. And uh, we, I think we were second best in the first half and best in the second half, and we need to. We need to make that period of us being better for longer. Mm. Um, so I think that's where that's where we've missed out today. So ultimately, very disappointed. Um, and I think it shows it shows where we are. Like they, they would have gotten their coach, they'll be absolutely buzzing that they've come here and beat us, and probably thinking maybe we shouldn't have. Um, and for what everyone thinks is Shrewsbury down the bottom or whatever, like we're we're giving teams like that a run for their money, and probably should have beat them ultimately. So. I think that there's loads of positives from the game, um, but ultimately, same as a couple of other games, where one mistake has, has cost us, um, which isn't always the case at this level, so we'll, things will change and then we'll move on. You say you're disappointed, is that the general feeling in the dressing room as well after that game? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. yeah. I, I think, um, lose any game you're disappointed, but in the form that we're in and, and things like that, especially now we really are disappointed with it and how we played and it's, it's disappointment and frustration because we know we weren't good enough in the first half just gave them too much respect when ultimately they're all playing in the same league as us um, no great shakes like we shouldn't be giving them that much respect and then the second half as you mentioned we were the better side and had lots of opportunities as well as the goal to get that second goal that could have been the winner yeah I mean we've, we, we did have lots of opportunities yeah but um, and that's not just the centre forwards. Um, I felt I could have actually scored in the first half. Um, Nursey puts one way over the bar, which I actually fancied him with. Um, and then some great balls in the box. Um, just a little bit of like timing and luck and things like that. And it will come together. I know there's a frustration that, that maybe we're not scoring that many goals. Um, but ultimately, peaks and troughs in a season. And um, we are playing well. And no one can take that away from us. So just need that, need that consistency in a longer, longer period of the game. Sort of instead of 45 and 45, turn it into 75 and and the rest, and then get it to 80 and have that complete at 90. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just um, go again Tuesday, big game Tuesday, um, and move on. And I think I think we really can finish in a good position in the league. And other teams are, <coughs> are struggling, but. I think I think today everyone will look at that result as in our like Oxford are better than Shrewsbury, but anyone who was here would probably be saying different. You mentioned your chance in the first half there, the early one, right, with the mm. header at the keeper, and you also had one second half that was just over your head, I think, across yeah. the back yeah, post. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's just it's score, yeah, yeah, definitely. And people can say about oh, we're not scoring goals, and it's Bowman and Udo and uh, Bloxham and things like that, but it's all of us, you know. What I mean, like Luke scored a couple of goals already. Penna always looks dangerous. I should have scored today, and it's not. And we can't be singling people out. It's all of us. Uh, like we expect them to defend, so they should expect us to score. So it's only fair. And then obviously we've got a, a quick turnaround ahead of Tuesday's game. I assume you know standard recovery tomorrow, and then preparation starts Monday. Yeah, the prep, the prep starts. We're at a stage in the season where we know what we need to do. We know how we play. We're starting to build a bit of an identity. And I think that, that that's showing in the games. Uh, we've got some good patterns and we play to, play to some good patterns and they couldn't, they couldn't live with us when we kept them in their own half. And like I say a few times now, just need to get it, get it for longer in the game. Thanks, Tuff. No problem.